And finally tonight on this week's Fishing Tips, Ray and Mandy go over the different types of reels you can find and how to choose the right one for you. Today we're going to talk about bait casters and there are two basic kinds of reels that we use when we fish. Uh, there are other types, but the two most common are spinning reels, which is uh, what I have in my hand right here. And it's, uh, the handle is interchangeable, you can put it on either side. And then we have bait casters, and bait casters come with a handle on just one side, so if you're left-handed, you need to order a left-handed bait reel. If you're right-handed, you need to order it that way. But there's a lot of mystery to these, and a lot of people don't use them because they think they're gonna just create huge eagle's nests and have big spools of line all over your hands and are afraid to try it. But when you learn how to set them up and you learn what the different speed ratios are, they're very effective and they're really very easy to use. So we'll start out. A lot of times it's a big mystery, um, and you'll find them on different locations, like Raymond's on raised rods, it has a gear ratio right on the handle, otherwise somewhere on the reel itself you'll see gear ratios. So you'll see a 6, 2, a 7, 3, an 8, 1, all the way up. What does that actually mean? That means that every time you turn this handle one time, that's how many times that spool is going round. So what that means in the end is for one revolution, the more line that you're bringing in, the higher the numbers actually go. So if you're casting cranks all day, you wanna cover a lot of water, you want something that's got a quick retrieve on it, you wanna go something with a higher gear ratio, because then you're not reeling so fast and it's a lot easier on your arm and your wrist during the day setting up the bait caster properly. So this right here is your drag system where you can turn it to loosen it up or tighten it down. You've got the tension system right here, but what a lot of people don't do, and it's the number one cause on backlashes, is they're not setting the actual braking system itself within this reel. You should not be using your thumb to slow down that line as you're casting. You need to let the braking system in itself in the reel do it for you. So on, on this reel specifically, there's a little button and it opens up and you'll see in here there's different numbers so you can crank them so when they come to you in the box they're going to be at a zero i normally like to go to a three or a four right away depending on what size lure and what weight that i have and then work my way back down based on that so you just simply can turn them each way and it'll go to a different number get it set and you're good to go so don't overuse the tensioning system here. Make, make sure that when you get a bait caster that you're actually using the braking system in itself. And I guarantee you it's going to cut back on your backlashes dramatically. I'm Ray Gilbo with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.